Welcome to World Transits Today. I'm Art Granoff. It's August 10th, 2022. And today on World Transits, we focus on multiple Mercury transits this week. Let's start out today with Mercury trying Uranus. Mercury represents the mind, the thinking process, what choices to make. Shadow Mercury is nonstop thinking, can't calm down, the itchy monkey mind. Uranus is fresh, slap me. Uranus perky, delighting in the new, what's rich and zesty. The unconscious Uranus may be unreliable or seemingly carefree. Mercury Uranus, fresh thinking, new inputs, reading books, hearing talks, engaging with media, writing about the new horizon that's blowing through you at this time. Lean on it, Mercury Uranus shadow, the agitated, too busy mind, just can't sit still. The elusive solution awaits right around the corner, doesn't it? Another book more astrology talks, and so on. Also, Neptune. Mercury opposite Neptune starts today. Mercury again is intellect, my personal thinker. Neptune's rich and dreamy like sleep. Neptune is BPM1, all-encompassing. Neptune's the imagination, and matched with Mercury, we're inclined to think up what might be ideal. Fantasy's ripe. Let your mind go, relax, and wander. Mercury Neptune is also focusing attention on the ineffable, the process commonly known as meditation, where the object we consider is formless, hasn't a scent, providing an inner heater or healer. Mercury with Neptune, intellectual delight, the composer, musician, painter, or poet, Engaging my mind in the arts, music, also the media critic, building castles in the air. The shadow side, commercial publishing, fake news, spin doctors on major networks presenting propaganda. The American media system, the New York Times, Fox, CNN, MSNBC, ultra extreme fantasy leading to delusion. And from the London Times, the Lady Gaga Review, a woman looking like an extraterrestrial praying mantis upholstered in red leather strode on to the stage at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Jets of flame shot 100 feet in the air. 50,000 outrageously costumed fans screamed, and I understood why China is so terrified of Lady Gaga. For there is nothing so wildly individualistic, so defiant of convention, so unwilling to be regimented and controlled as Lady Gaga in full voice, an erotic, exotic, uber celebrity who also contrives to be the girl next door. Stephanie, Joanne, Angelina, Germanata from New York City. August 11th, the full moon. Hey, what's the big deal with the full moon? And why is the full moon important? Well, first of all, each month, she's the most beautiful sight in the sky. And since time began, humans have been watching the full moon, finding delight and meaning to their lives their societies, and their worldview. So when I contemplate and view the full moon in the sky, I engage in a full homo sapien party, considering then joining with all peoples from all places throughout history, looking up with delight or full of fears, whichever the case may be, at the full moon. I feel united or one with all people from all places and all times. How do you experience the full moon? And August 15th, a powerful day, more Mercury transits, Mercury trine Mars. Mercury again thinks and organize, 
Mars acts and demonstrates. Mercury Mars, planning what to do, full of ideology, ready to strike. News media, non-objective, telling their story, forcing their views. The January 6th committee, forcing the planners of the January 6th riot to turn over their text messages. Forcing the loony salesman of wacky ideas, Alex Jones, to testify under oath. Then, August 15th also, Mercury trine Pluto. It's Mercury on all three outer planets. Hmm. Pluto's BPM3. Powerful energies are flowing, providing the torque propelling us through our mother's body. Pluto's when you say, I can't believe I did that again. Or when they say to you, I can't believe you did that again. In life, Pluto expressing depth relates to distinction. Look at me making a statement. Mercury Pluto engaging my mind in a treasure hunt through deep research to find what I'm looking for. Reading intense books, going deep with meditation, psychedelics, archetypal astrology, or Mercury Pluto, the agitated, raging mind, compulsive, fear filled. Buddy Holly says, I'm going to tell you how it's going to be. You're going to give your love to me. Mercury Pluto shadow, ready to dominate you or be dominated by skewing thinking through personal relations, religion, economics, culture, or worldview. The hellfire preacher, the TV opinion personality, or maybe little old me. Also on the 15th, Uranus sextile Neptune, the return for 10 years. Uranus is BPM4, the release. Neptune's BPM1, boundless energies. The perinatal bookends. Neptune's where we start in there, and Uranus is where we start out here. Uranus representing what's new or too far out. Neptune's imagination what's ideal or confusing. Uranus, Neptune, easy access to the divine in psychedelic and holotropic states. Applying sacred technologies, yoga, meditation, breathwork, astrology. Also, adding Mars. So Mars is with the three outer planets from August 3rd till the 21st. So it's Mercury in Mars with the three outer planets. And let's not forget Saturn. Ho! Oh, Mars square Saturn and Saturn square Uranus. And just to finish it off today, the three outer planets together from August 15th through November 12th. Thanks for joining me on World Transits today, everybody covering the August 2022 Mercury Transits. Watch World Transits at my site, Reference Astrology. Hear the audio version at Apple Podcasts. Contact me directly at Reference Astrology for a birth chart and transit reading, where we explore the planetary archetypes, place them on your chart, revealing your personal transits to see what's up for you.